Hi guys, it's Eileen here. I am covering up my ATC cards here today, playing cards, with my printed paper, as you can see. And that's what I've been doing. So I just did a few and um, thought I would make some more ATC cards and do their backgrounds anyway. So, random doing, no reason for them, just because I want to play. <clears throat> so I'm just going to do that, use up these nice prints that I made. I made these prints on my silicone mat and just with, you know, uh, stencils and stuff like that that I've made mostly and different colors, or paint, so yeah, played with it and I really like the results that I got from it, so pretty fun. So something to do. I have lots of ideas. I was going to say in between ideas, but I actually do have lots of ideas. But then sometimes you just want to do something. Go back and do something a little simple and pretty. So I'm just trying to see if I have room for one more card in there. I might not. So now I'm going to have to grab another um, print that I've made. I've got one more. I like to been liking doing uh, six cards at a time, I and mean, that's just me, but yeah, kind of covered them up. Last time I made some cards with tissue paper, covered it up with that. I actually ended up making a whole lot of cards with them um, into like Vegas cards, I call them my Vegas ATC. So they turned out really pretty. It's uh, January and I'm getting all itchy for, I don't know if that's the right term, for spring though. I just can't wait. So it's driving me nuts. Like, I want, like, ah, spring. So I've been thinking of flowers and birds again and all that kind of stuff. So probably going to end up starting all that stuff again soon because I just. I'm willing it. I'm willing it to come faster. It's going to work too, you know. Spring. For us here in Canada, I know. Excuse me, I'm going to sneeze. <laughs> Excuse me, that's a loud sneeze. I know, um, like in Australia, it's nice and summer out there. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh boy. But here in Canada, and. United States and that, in the upper part of the world. It's cold. Cold, cold, cold. So now I got the Mod Podge on there. So that was fun. I don't have any plans particularly. I'm just been doing, I want to do a lot more ATCs because I miss them. I haven't done them in a while. Like I haven't been doing them regularly. So these are easy um, ATCs, I just put my prints on them. Look at that print. I love that flor floral. This is just turning over the stamp after I used it or the um, stencil and then just wiping off what my excess was on it. So that is great. Prints there and this one. And these are homemade stencils and that's what that is there. This one obviously I I'm, don't know what, I, what kind of stenciling I did there but it's really pretty, the result. Um, and there's more. So it's really pretty. It turns out really unique and pretty, all of them. So I'm going to grab my paper, paper cutting scissors and kind of... Excuse me, now my nose is all... Sorry if I'm sniffling. Just cut my corners a bit here. Because I like to do that. One of the reasons why I love using playing cards is I just like to have that nice rounded corner. I do have a little corner rounder, but or stamp or whatever it's called, but I just like cards. I don't know, it's the look of them. So I'm just going to round my corners a bit. Try not to cut into it. I like it. 
I like it a lot. And nice. And I'm not talking. <laughs> But yeah, so I'm not sure what I'm going to do with these yet, but just getting them all straightened out here. Corners nice and rounded. I love that part. And then you know, no measuring. It's just there already. Love the convenience of playing cards. I do. And it's a nice sturdy back. And like I said, I like doing six at a time. I think it's on like almost like a whole page. And uh, you got a theme going on, so that's kind of cool. And you can kind of work together with it. Um, that's how I did. Like, I work a lot of my themes that way. Like, I did my snowman theme one with all six cards. Um, so I usually do like a page where, it, even if I were to make like one page, I would do cut it up to make like six so, yeah, that's my thing. That's how I roll. Oh, am I out of my picture? I'm sorry, guys. That's how I roll with it. Now, let's see. What can we do with these? We can clean up our, our mess here. I love these. Now they're going to have a nice coating on them. I'm going to grab my... Other playing cards here that I've turned into stencils. Oh look, I have a, I have the outside. I have, oops, the. I'm just gonna put this in. the outside. I have a cover to the cards, and I put bling leftover bling on there so I can reuse it. So that's kind of cool. But I made stencils out of these, um, and they're on the ring, so it's nice and convenient for me to do whatever I want. I didn't use my punches for these ones here, and uh, some of the punches I just don't use too often, but it's nice to have little stencils of them, and a flower one, some kind of like raindrop typey whatever, and hearts, more different hearts there, you can see them. This one I cut out with a knife, it's a stamp, and I just stamped what I wanted, and I cut out exactly what I wanted. This one uh, was a stamp, and I cut it out with the flowers. This one was my little hole punch. This one is a great stamp. It's one of my favorite stencils. It's one of my favorites. So it's a bird. So it's a stamp. And I did the belly and the little underneath jaw there and cheeks a bit. And then I have the outer part of the bird. So then I could do both the top and the bottom. The colors love that. It looks really nice. And here's another one that was a stamp. So I like that. And then I just free cut some waves. And here's a stamp of some women. That's a nice one. So I like those. They turned out really nice. So, yeah. I think I'm going to use... Oh, maybe I'll use my circles. I like these ones a lot too. So, And I think I'm just going to use black. Thinking about it. I'm just going to use my black... And where did my sponge go? Maybe it's time to grab a new one. Anyway, it's wearing out. So I use these makeup sponges to um, smear up my... to stamp out my stuff. And I'm not, I don't even know what I'm going to do. I'm just going to go with with this here like that. I like that. I don't know. So that's cute. I'm not going to do them all the same. I'm going to do them all different. Nice ink here. It's really nice. Stamping. Love it.
perfect. So like I said, I don't have no reason to do this, so I'm just kind of doing it. So I don't have a plan, so I'm just going to do it all over. And then make up a plan later, I suppose. Just like that. Just play with it. Could try going down the... Actually, I'm just going to go down this side here. So this is a very convenient way to have small stencils on hand. Um, I really like this. Can you guys see me way over there? I know I'm way over here now. So if you like a certain few stamps and stuff like that, or uh, punches, and you like to use them more but you don't, um, this is a good way to, to use them in a different way. Just to... Uh, yeah. Use them as stencils. It's a nice way to see your stuff getting used. So. Now let's see how have I done this. I'm um, just trying to do something a little different each time keep my stuff going. I like that. Pretty nice. I'm going to stamp this bird stamp and I've used it in my last ATC but I think I have I just, yeah, I think I'm going to use it. I think so. That just gives it more texture. could be just even uh, an ATC that just has like kind of like a junk journal page, you know, that just doesn't have meaning to it. It could be that, I don't know. It could be smeared up and it could be just turned into a background. So, I never know these things. Sometimes I do. Sometimes I'm like, okay, I want to make this ATC. So, I mean, it's good to have plans too, but it's good to just free, free form it, free play. Now, I'm sorry for my arm. I'm going to go with this stamp here and maybe add a blue, blue lace. Let's see how well this works here on this dark one. Not that well, but you, it's still there. On this one here, better. I like that blue lace, and it's very random. So I like random. media is so fun. That one's a little in, but whatever. Good. I think I'm going to redo this one, but I'm going to do it in black just because I want to. I really want to see the, the lace in it. And I don't care how much black's in it because I'm just playing with it so it doesn't bother me that it is say throughout or whatever. There we go. It's not even, but that's okay. You see that? That's okay for me. Maybe I'll add a little bit more. So now I'm going to get connected. Connected. That's my word. We used to, the kids used to, couldn't say addicted when they're like arguing about video games. And that was the word they used to use. Connected. I'm on that one. So, that's good. I got them on all of them. Nice. 
This one's kind of neat. I like the way it looks here on the edge. It looks really neat. So that's good. I had not realized I was videotaping with the craft room door open. And let's see if this will even work. And uh, my dishwasher is going. And it's very loud. There we go. I put hairspray on it. I'm gonna, last time I didn't do that. And I smeared it. So I'm being very generous with the hairspray. And that is it for now. I'm really liking these. These are really cute. And I think I have an idea in my head now what I want to do with these. Um, but before I do that, I'm going to mark them up and stuff like that. I'm going to draw some pictures and I'm going to place them on tissue, draw my tissue paper and then I'm going to paste the tissue paper on top of all this art and this is going to come through. And see yes, some of it you won't see, but that's what I'm going to do with these guys. So now my goal is to mark it up a bit, um, do some edging and that kind of stuff make some things pop and and then I'm going to add some tissue paper pictures to it so and that's what I'm going to do with these ones. Oops. Hi guys okay so I know they look way different than a second ago um what I did was it was getting to be 30 minutes almost here on the video so I drew these silhouettes out on tissue paper like this um, you know this tissue paper and then with a sharpie I colored them in and these are all nursery rhymes um, I actually remembered that I joined a swap for doing that so I wanted to um, maybe I was thinking well I'll just use that opportunity and so I used the background everything was the same on the background the only things different is I add a little bit of gold here um, I added toilet paper uh, molds here so part of the theme on the the uh, card see how I use the background and then I can use it on a theme a whole theme and everything right so I had no idea at first what I was going to use it for the theme of the card was nursery rhymes and then you had to use paper mache or you know water and toilet paper um, um, toilet paper on it so I used some trimming from this mold here this is the trimming to add to these because they're so small I wasn't sure what I wanted to how I wanted to add toilet paper so I just did them as trimming to these so um, I was just uh, and I know like I said I'm sorry I did it off I didn't want to do a second video um, but I'm just going over it a little bit here now with some silver on the high points of the gold of the trim there and I'm thinking about blotting some paint so I'm just gonna add a little bit more stuff here on but you guys I didn't really want to make another video and I wasn't sure how much more I'm going to add because I'm pretty much done and to draw these it took a while to draw these now these I got off of um, I think Pinterest and I just traced them um, instead of just tr stressing over it I traced them on my um, iPad mini um, the uh, images to make it. I changed a couple of them up a little bit but yeah I traced them and it's not a wrong thing to do. Sometimes we we print up things and I don't have a printer so that's what I do. I, I traced it. So what do you do? You go the next thing you can do. So now I'm just highlighting this last one here and, and I'm thinking about I wanted to add just a little bit of paint to this. Now I'm grabbing my smaller um, bubble wrap and that's what I'm going to use to paint. Oops, I'm not even in view. Sorry guys. That's what I'm going to use to paint just a little bit. And I want to use buttercream. If I have buttercream left, I want to use buttercream. One of my favorite light buttermilk, actually. Sorry, I lied. One of my favorite things to use 
for this um, type of thing. Now I know I'm going a little bit on top, right? But that's okay. Because um, I just want to do a little bit more layering. I don't want I don't want it to be quite done yet. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to fold up a little bit here, paint a little bit here, and try to blot some on a little bit. If I don't like it, I can just remove it here. This one I did like. There, now I kind of just go a little bit more to the edge. Um, if you don't like it, and then this one actually did not work out. Funny thing. Oh, here. I'm just going to use a little bit of the alcohol spray here to spray it on and wipe it off. The permanent marker on the, um, the Sharpie is really good, so it's going to be fine. So you got to make sure what kind of markers. I didn't want to go on the cat. There. Now he's not on the cat's forehead. Um, I don't mind it going on the violin, the fiddle, whatever it's called. So this one's the cat and the fiddle. Um, but there we go. And I'm going to do a little bit here on hand penny. These are nursery rhymes, and that was the theme, and I'm like, oh, I can use that. See how easy that was? Like, I would have had that background, and I could do anything with it after. Just a little imagination. Um, with it, right? So... And there's that one. So I'm just going over it a little bit. Um, just to like that. Three blind mice here. Humpty Dumpty. I do have some on this one here. A little bit. See, just like that. Um, the cat and the fiddle. I think I'll just add a little bit more right there. And that's it for that. So, I'm sitting here all cross-legged, you don't know, I'm shaking my camera, and all, like, my legs are all twisted around, so it's hard to lean, but that's, that's basically what I want to go for, and now I'm just going to darken the edges, because that's what I plan to do, and I don't want it to go on the card too much, yeah. and of course I'm going to have to put a piece of paper in the back and put in my information on it because it's going to be for a swap now but see I had the card ready I'm like I don't know what I'm going to use for it I could have kept it for a while um, but yeah ended up finding oh yeah I need to get these cards done so I have to mail them out right so it's it's handy to have some backgrounds and you can do anything like who knew that I can do a nursery rhyme back uh, uh, ATC card with with this kind of background. Um, I used this darker one for the cow jumping over the moon because I thought it was more like oh dark. I thought that was cool because it would be more like night. So but yes I hope you guys don't mind that I kind of skipped showing you that part but like I said all it was was drawing out the silhouette and then marking it with the the um, marker, permanent marker, and uh, 
getting it on there with Mod Podge. And like I said, also too, part of the theme after that was um, putting the toilet paper on there. You had to use toilet paper. So, I'm just going to do a little bit of black on here now. So I did it. Did what I was, and Nick, who knew that I could use that, like I said, background for this particular project. It was just spontaneous. So, I hope you guys liked this um, tutorial. The, it was more to help you out with the background, so I hope you guys enjoyed that. And um, if you prefer for me to do the whole thing through, just you know, make a comment and I will make a second video then next time when I do something like that where I'm like, oh, I could do this. Um, yeah, I kind of like thought about it. I'm like, oh, I'm going to draw something on there. And then that's when I'm like, ah, I have an idea. I need to get these done. So I hope you guys like them. And thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't. And uh, yeah, thanks guys for watching. Three blind mice, isn't that cute? And I also, for the white on the, the, the guys, I used the, the painters to get the glasses and the ears on the mice. And there's Humpty Dumpty. And I don't know if I'm going to do a little bit more on them or not, but I think they're pretty close to done. And, um, but my video is getting long, so thanks guys. Talk to you later. Bye-bye. Okay guys, you're going to think I'm totally crazy on this one. Playing with these, I put UT on these randomly. You can see that. And I like the way the texture looks. Can you see that? It's pretty cool. I put it on just two of them. And that is really cool. And I like it. So I'm going to do that with all of them. So what I did was I just grabbed my very dirty, don't mind my very dirty Versa Marks because it's dirty because I do this. And I just randomly stamp whatever it sticks onto. That's what it, you know, I don't want it everywhere. I throw my ultra thick UT on here. You can see how random that is right there. And then, pour this back. I'm using it on a, a lid, a coffee, or some kind of Tupperware. Well, I guess it's a would be a coffee lid. I grab my tool. I don't know what it's called. And then I just heat it up. I love how random it is. I love the texture. Um, I was looking for just like one more thing to stick on there. And I think that I found it because I was like, mm, I don't know. It's just too still flat for me, right? So when I added this, I love it. Can you see the difference between here and here? I love it. So that is my um, random layer again mixed media see all this different techniques all these different and it doesn't have no reason to it and you're like thinking what on earth right but there's no wrong so who cares do it if you feel like it i wanted a different texture i wanted something totally different and i got it look at that cat's gonna look awesome and that fiddle so same thing so yeah, I'm happy with this. So you guys do whatever you want. Don't stop yourself because you're thinking, what am I doing? Going crazy. No, these are yours. You can do whatever. And if you give them away or do whatever after. If they didn't work out and I totally wrecked them, in my opinion wrecked them, um, which other people always say they're great, but in my opinion wrecked them and I didn't send them off, what would be the harm? Right? Okay guys, I'm very happy with this technique, so um, this is it, um, yeah, it clouded up the writing a little bit on this, 
this one but look at that I love it here's the three blind mice again it just gives it a little bit of a wow factor I think so it's pretty cool just a little something different nice cat and a fiddle Penny and or Henny and Pen. I have no idea. It's a nursery rhyme. They said when I looked it up. And then um, Humpty Dumpty. We all know Humpty Dumpty. Isn't that cool? Great texture. And then the cat jumped over the moon. Hey, what's that one? Hey, diddle diddle. So that's cool. Thanks guys for watching and now this time it's goodbye. Talk to you later. Bye bye.